world of work is changing quickly and the skills that are needed to match to it are changing even quicker. It becomes critical for people to continue to upskill and reskill to maintain their relevance. I'm Dr. Sheila LeBlanc. I work at the University of Calgary as our Associate Vice President of Continuing Education. We are the only university in Canada that is both a corporate training partner and a global learning partner with Microsoft. Our partnership with Microsoft has really pushed the dial in terms of our ability to reach beyond the city of Calgary through learning and through technical learning. Uh, prior to the pandemic, 90% approximately of our learners were within 50 kilometers of Calgary. We worked predominantly with local Calgarians in a classroom, in a lab, when we were teaching tech programming. And when you're in a classroom with students and evaluating their learning, you have certain approaches that you use. We were challenged to think about uh, distributing our learning, having larger impact, reaching more students, and doing so in a research-informed way. So for example, uh, we use data analytics to give us information associated with where people were registering from, uh, their participation in the work, uh, if they were logging into the system regularly, how did that correlate to their success rates? As we started expanding our synchronous and asynchronous learning strategies and, and doing so through this training program in partnership with Microsoft, we started to reach Calgarians, Albertans and Canadians and even those outside of the country. One of our key things in the partnership that I've really felt we've developed capacity on and, and what I think is a strategic differentiator in terms of education providers going forward is the capabilities and capacity to do curation of a, a significant amount of content that's out there and then think about validation of that learning. So curation and validation as being key um, components of the uh, learning provider in the future. Microsoft has amazing content and materials, especially as a learning partner that we get access to. But tailoring that and customizing and curating it to meet the learners where they're at. And if we get good and continue to expand our capabilities and capacity to curate, meet people where they're at, and then start validating their knowledge, their skills and their competencies, that, that's really the, the skills that I'm excited about that we've been building. It allows us to think about what kind of partnerships we can have in the future and how can we expand our impact even further as we work together.